powered by Alienware. Hello and welcome to Curse Monthly Esports Countdown, where we rank the most exciting happenings in esports games and competitions from the month of action. It's been an exciting month filled with thrilling championships, new game releases, and record-breaking viewership numbers. 2017 is certainly off to a hot start. Let's dig into what caught our attention. Number 10, Exorcist wins the race for world first Nighthold. In a stunning come from behind victory, the Russian guild Exorcist became the first in World of Warcraft to take down Gul'dan in the mythic difficulty of the Nighthold raid. Mythic difficulty is WoW's hardest mode, with guilds dedicating several days and hundreds of attempts to taking down sadistically difficult bosses. Exorcist beat out Europeans' powerhouses, Serenity and Method, who took second and third respectively. <laughs> Number 9. Canada gets a 24-hour esports channel. Jinx Esports TV expanded to Canadian markets this month, partnering with Super Channel to reach 37 million households. This move more than doubles their current household reach, as they were previously available in approximately 34 million households across Europe. Jinx currently broadcasts 24 hours of video game coverage with zero cops reruns. Number 8. Rick Fox doubles down on esports in The Players' Tribune. Three times NBA champion Rick Fox took to the online publication The Players' Tribune to share his esports experience. After being exposed to live League of Legends competitions by his son, Fox decided to co found Echo Fox, now one of the most premier esports organizations in the world. In the article, he speaks to the parallels he sees between esports and traditional athletes in regards to their dedication and love for the game, and how esports isn't the wave of the future, the future is already here. Number 7. Amada sweeps Super Smash Bros. Melee at Beast 7. Continuing his red hot start to 2017, Amada won the second major tournament for the 16 year old Nintendo game this year, Sweden's Beast 7. The event was hosted in the Swedish sniper's hometown of Gothenburg, and the hometown advantage was too much for the competition. He swept both Melee competitions, winning singles 3 2 over fellow Swede Leffen, and raking doubles with his younger brother and fellow Alliance smasher Android. Number 6. Virtus Pro CSGO takes DreamHack Masters Las Vegas. It's been a busy last 30 days for Counter-Strike, but Virtus Pro doesn't mind. Fresh off a second place finish in the E-League Major, the team stayed hot, overcoming a tenuous group stage and a horrifyingly difficult path through the bracket to win 2-1 over SK Gaming. With this win, the team has now secured $550,000 in prize money in this year alone. Number 5. Hearthstone announces big changes. In response to growing player discontent on forums, Blizzard announced big changes are coming to their online collectible card game Hearthstone. Last year, they announced the standard format where older cards would rotate out of play to keep the game fresh. This year, they've gone a step further, selecting six powerful cards from the Eternal Classic set to go the way of the Devil Source. With the upcoming expansion set rotation and recently announced changes, competitive decks are going to look very different this year. Number 4. Cloud9 take down FlyQuest in this split's newest rivalry. Roster controversies and rivalries are nothing new to League of Legends, and this year, Spring Split has been no exception. After a triumphant return to LCS via qualifying in the Challenger League, Cloud9 Challenger, which contains longtime team veterans High, Lemonation, and Balls, was sold to new organization FlyQuest for $2.5 million. Fans and players alike were conflicted on who to pull for, but in the end, Cloud9 pulled out a close 2-1 victory. Number 3. Ubisoft For Honor is released Half action RPG, half fighting game, For Honor has the attention of many competitive gamers. With a clean look, a unique style of gameplay, and focus on skill and strategy, many believe this game has the potential to be the next great esport. Several tournaments have already popped up, and several organizations are looking for ways to invest in players and events. Number 2. Faker debuts on Twitch to record numbers. Lee Faker sang Hyok considered by many to be the Michael Jordan of League of Legends, made his long-anticipated debut on popular streaming website Twitch this month. Sang Hyok had previously streamed on a less popular service as a contract requirement, building up four years of anticipation for this moment. It didn't take long for him to draw in an audience, with him peaking at 245,000 people watching him concurrently, a record for an individual on the website. Number 1. Astralis takes the E-League major title as 1 million watch live. 
In another record-breaking moment for Twitch, E-League shattered viewership records as 1 million tuned in to watch an 88-round slog between CSGO juggernauts Astralis and Virtus Pro. This was the fourth event broadcast by Turner Sports Crew and was simultaneously broadcast on the cable channel TBS. Astralis walked away from the carnage $500,000 richer and fans lauded the event for its exceptional production and the most exciting major final match in years. Astralis. That's the latest for this month's eSports Countdown. Thank you to our sponsor, Alienware, for supporting our monthly countdown. You can learn more about their tournament-proven hardware at Alienware.com. This is Dash for Curse, as always, saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game. Powered by Alienware.